On today's show, Renault reveals a wild-looking autonomous delivery pod. The popularity in ride hailing is growing by leaps and bounds, and Porsche and Hyundai invest in a holographic augmented reality startup. All that and more coming right up on Autoline Daily. This is Autoline Daily, the voice of the global automotive industry. Earlier this week, Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed that the company is going through delivery logistics hell trying to get vehicles in customers' hands. In the second quarter of the year, the company built more than 53,000 vehicles, but only delivered a little more than 40,000 of them. And now Mike Jackson, the outspoken CEO of AutoNation, the largest dealer group in the U.S., is telling Tesla, I told you so. Four years ago, he predicted that the company would run into this problem when trying to ramp up production, and that's pretty much what happened. He says Tesla could have avoided the issue if it didn't handle its own retailing. As you know, Tesla snubbed the franchise model and instead sells cars directly to customers. So that's why we're seeing some gloating from Mike Jackson. Ride-handling services like Uber and Lyft continue to grow in popularity. A new study from ABI Research found that 16 billion ride-hailing trips were made globally in 2017, and this year it's expected to grow to 24 billion. Asia is by far and away the largest market for ride-hailing. Over 70% of trips globally were made in the region. North and Latin America were next on the list. And ride-hailing is so popular in Asia because vehicle ownership is relatively low, plus it's pretty cheap the average cost of a trip is as low as 10 cents a mile. We'll have new performance car reveals from BMW and Mercedes right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by ExxonMobil. BMW just introduced the new Z4. It's bigger than the outgoing model, about three inches longer and wider, and about half an inch taller. It's powered by a new two-liter four-cylinder turbo, which offers a slight boost in horsepower and torque. The M version features a three-liter six-cylinder engine, which helps move it from zero to 60 in just 4.4 seconds. Both engines are mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. The new Z4 will arrive at dealerships in the U.S. in March of 2019. Mercedes AMG just got its hands on the new A-Class hatchback, and here are the highlights. Under the hood is a turbocharged, 2-liter four-cylinder engine that produces over 300 horsepower. It gets mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission and 4-matic all-wheel drive, which helps propel the hot hatch from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.7 seconds. To improve handling, an aluminum underplate was added beneath the engine as well as two diagonal braces at the front of the underbody. It also gets an improved AMG ride control suspension. The interior of course features sporty seats and a steering wheel, but the instrument cluster also has three AMG display styles to choose from. The A35 4MATIC will first hit the market in Western Europe in January of next year. Renault unveiled this wild-looking concept called the Easy Pro. It's an autonomous, electric, connected and shared vehicle that's been designed for last-mile deliveries in cities. Easy Pro travels autonomously in a platoon, which consists of a leader pod and driverless pods that automatically follow it. But humans haven't been completely eliminated. A concierge sits in the leader pod to supervise the deliveries. Renault says a vehicle like this can help improve traffic congestion since fewer vehicles will be needed to make deliveries and its connected technology will help improve the flow of traffic. Coming up next, Hyundai and Porsche invest in a very interesting kind of navigation system. Lighter, safer, stronger, quieter, and more sustainable. Tell us where you need to go, and we'll help you get there. Dow Automotive Systems. We don't succeed unless you do. 
The founder and CEO of Wayray came up with his idea for a holographic augmented reality navigation system after getting into an accident due to being distracted by his GPS system. The startup is now getting investments from major automakers like Hyundai and Porsche. As you might expect, they plan to use the technology in completely different ways. Hyundai will first use it to improve navigation by displaying things like traffic information, including real-time information about crosswalks, pedestrians, roads, and warning signs. Porsche, on the other hand, is showing how the technology could also be used to improve the on-track experience. The system could display things like where other drivers are on the track, the ideal line to take, or even let you race against a virtual driver. It's almost like turning it into a video game. No word on when we might see Wayray in a Porsche, but Hyundai plans to introduce the system into its mass-produced vehicles as early as 2020. And hey, don't forget to join us for AutoLine After Hours this afternoon, when our special guest will be none other than Bob Lutz, and you can be sure he'll have a lot to say about the state of the automotive industry. If you have any questions, just send them to viewer mail at autoline.tv and then join us live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on autoline.tv. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and please join us again here tomorrow.